Tucking into some chips without piling on kilos sounds fanciful, doesn't it? What we've done is we've discovered a receptor in the brain that controls appetite. Bioscientists at University of Queensland then found a drug-like peptide from an African plant and modified it to interact with that receptor. We'd now like to put that molecule into potatoes so that you could have your french fries and not worry about the consequences. Their edible plant research is also leading the way in pain management, thanks to the highly venomous Queensland cone snail. It turns out that that's a very potent painkiller and we've now engineered that painkiller to be put into a, a tobacco plant. Lead researcher Professor David Craig says this allows them to grow the painkilling medicine in plants by modifying DNA. The other thing that we could do is deliver through herbal teas. It's called biofarming, where they grow peptide-based medicines in a plant like the tobacco plant and then harvest and refine the pharmaceutical peptide from that. Nature's producing these molecules naturally. If we've re-engineered them to be anti-cancer drugs or anti-obesity drugs or painkillers, why not use plants as biofactories? And since we're planning to produce this in plants, it should also be cheaper to manufacture as well as being uh, environmentally friendly. Professor Craig has invested decades into this research, travelling the world collecting rare plants with these stable mini circular proteins. And they're using peptides from the tomato plant to collaborate with researchers in Sweden to find a treatment for multiple sclerosis. The researchers have literally come full circle from discovering drugs in plants to making drugs in plants, but clinical trials are still at least five years away. Research like this that shows some promising results, early results, can actually help us provide some hope for the future. It's, it's wonderful that um, we, we can look to foods to heal. The key is not to sort of see it's like the magic bullet that you can overeat or eat anything just by taking something that, you know, even is from a food source. Sunflower and soybean plants and a common weed in the cabbage family are some of the other lab rat plants they're hoping to one day turn into biocures. Lexi Hamilton-Smith, ABC News.